Yeah, the Joker is a strange one, isn't he? Well, in case you haven't been able to tell yet, I'm cleverly not able to sneak over these guys anymore. this no really what is that okay I need to think about this real quick so this appears to lead somewhere I don't know what to do. I don't understand. I'm like, going this way, dropping down here apparently leads me to intense treatment. But I don't. Okay. Well, I'm just going to be... God dang it. Look at that. I actually I actually knocked out a few guys. Is any of them gonna pick up a gun? I hope not. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking the odds of this so far. This is very nice. Very, very nice. Now if you'll excuse me. Is that enough to get you guys to stay down with your guns? Oh, god dang it. One of you just always has to ruin the fun. Don't ya? Stay down! Christ! Why do you all suck? Stay down! Oh my god! Stay, stay down! Oh my god! Are we done? Okay, good. Cause God. I'm dealing with these people sometimes. Oh, right, Riddler trophy. Might as well go down and get this. Am I right? Thank you. I'm out. Scarface. Wait, whoa, whoa, who's Scarface? Did that say Scarface or did that say Scarecrow? The Penguin, I know who that is. Riddler, Mr. Zazz. Penelope, Commissioner Gordon, or Cash. I'm actually curious about who Zaz is, so let me take a look at this. True sociopath Zaz grew up in a life of ease, but nonetheless became a serial killer and discriminating 
indiscriminate in his prey, body count is the only thing that matters to Zaz. He takes pleasure in arranging the cards. Uh, uh. That is that is scary. Okay then. Why was his body all red then? If that's what he looks like, Jack Ryder. Hush. Tommy Ellen Bruce Wayne or childhood friends and unknown to Bruce dark reflections of each other. A childhood sociopath, Elliot tried to kill his parents so he could inherit their fortune. When his plan failed, partly due to his surgical to the surgical skills of Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, Elliot blamed Bruce. An incredibly skilled surgeon as an adult, Elliot planned an elaborate revenge scheme on the Batman. He disguised himself as the villain Hush, his face covered in bandages, but he was in the end defeated and unmasked by the Dark Knight. Hush still plots to revenge, plots revenge against Batman, generating complicated schemes with surgical precision. Okay, then. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, let's see who this guy is. A crooked financier who stole... Crooked financer. Okay. Who stole millions of dollars. Warren Wyatt thought he'd score a legal victory when his insanity plea went through. But when he got to Arkham Asylum, he realized his mistake. Driven insane by the other's inmates, he was also disfigured by an encounter with Mr. Freeze that left him without hair, nose, ears, or lips. Calling himself the Great White Shark, he filed his teeth into fangs to more perfectly resemble his new namesake. Putting his financial skills to use, he... <sighs> he has become a major player in Gotham's underground crime scene, running a number of rackets from his cell in Arkham. Interesting. Black Mask, I ran over that guy. Amadeus Arkham. Arkham Amadeus Arkham founded Elizabeth Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane, naming it after his mother, whom he euthanized as treatment for her dementia. Building it on the grounds of his family's historic mansion on the outskirts of Gotham, Amadeus personally treated its first patient, Martin Mad Dog Hawkins, who'd killed Amadeus's wife and daughter. After administrating fatal electroshock treatments to Hawkins, Amadeus lost his grip on his sanity and was admitted to his own institution. That's... okay. That's... That's really, like, bad. To be admitted to your own institution. Like, out of all the sucky things that can happen to one person, that sucks a lot. 